Not a, this is not a scam. It's a legend call. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling from Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm returning a call. I got a voicemail to call. Something wrong with my. Oh, I got it. Okay. I got it. What? Oh, my Social Security number was uh, fraudulent, fraudulent activity or some foolishness. I don't know what they said. Oh, it's alright. Okay. Right. I will just check. I will just check and I will let you know. Okay. I will put you know. So can you verify me your name? So oh. I can. Grab yes. a file. First name Krangus. C R A N G U S. Okay. C R A N G U S. Krangus, yes. Last name. And the last name. McBasketball. M C B A S K E T B A L L. M C B A S K E T B A L L. M C Basketball. Yes, Krangus McBasketball. That's the correct information which you are providing to me? That's a what? I didn't, I didn't hear you. It's the correct name you are providing to me? Yeah, it's my name. Can you confirm me your zip code as well of the area? 13118. 13118. Yes. And last four digit of your social security number? 1463. 1463. 63. 63. All right, sir. I will put you in a hole as I'm grabbing your file. Okay. All right. Just yes. give me a moment. Okay. Thank you for holding the line, sir. Yes. The reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some local huh? enforcement item file on your social security number. What's that mean? We have got an order to. The reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action file on your social security number. Yeah. What's that mean? Legal action to... for what? That's what I don't understand. Just calm down. I will let you know everything. Well, uh, well, I'm everything. a little nervous. Okay, go ahead. We have got an order to suspend your social security number at this right moment. How can you do that? Because you found many suspicious activities done on your social. Do you receive any call from the local police station? Well, yeah, about the restraining order. Yeah, they were here earlier. They served me papers with the restraining order. But that had nothing to do with yeah. this. Before I proceed and provide you further case detail, I need to make sure whether I'm speaking with the right person or not because the details which I need to provide you is about okay. your social security. Okay. It's highly, highly. confidential okay. information. Okay. What do you need? So I'm going to ask you some some security questions first, all right? Okay. Please grab a piece of paper and a pen. Hello. Yeah, I got, I'm looking for a piece of paper here. All right. Okay, go ahead. So you can write the batch ID batch. 74, 74, batch ID 26, 20, 20, 90, okay. 09310. Okay. okay. And the case ID is 7010. Okay. And warrant ID is 5375402. And my name is Kane Williamson. Kenny? Kane, Kane, K A N E. Kane, what was the last name, Kane? Will, huh? Williamson, W-I-L-L. Okay, I, got that. I got that, okay. You got it? Yeah. Can you reconfirm the batch ID which I have told you? 7426093104259701026, two, all right. The case ID? Uh, 537542. No, that is a warrant ID. Oh. I'm asking you the case ID. Case ID. 7010. Yeah. Before that, you have to do KW. KW stands for my name. Before KW what? KW 7010. Oh, KW. You didn't tell me KW. Yeah, that's my okay. name. Okay, well, you didn't tell me that, so I didn't write it down. All right, write it down. I KW, did. I did. KW 7010. I got it. Okay, go ahead there. So I will okay. now go ahead and read the legal charges against okay. your name. Yes, yeah, I don't know what legal charges there could be. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm a 70-year-old man. What could I possibly have done wrong? While I'm speaking, please do not interrupt me in between us. I will provide you a fair enough chance to raise any questions once I'm done. Okay, go ahead. All right? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Your social has been found suspicious and criminal activities in the state of Texas. 
Hi. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Yeah, I used to work down there in Texas. When you visited? No, I worked on it. I was a boiler <laughs> man on a Vaseline tanker out of Galveston. All right. Because we are taking this issue to FBI headquarters as we are having a strong evidence that are strong enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. You prove know that? me guilty of what? Well? Prove me guilty of yeah? what? Prove me guilty of what? So do not interrupt me. I will let you... Well, know, you're going to uh, prove me guilty of something. I want to know what you're going to prove me guilty of. I mean, don't you uh, think I have a right to know? Right. Well, hello. Yeah. You have the right to know, but okay, tell when me I'm that. done, you can ask me everything, okay? I... Just calm down. So calm calm down. down, you're talking about arrest of me and everything else and legal charges and you won't, I'm guilty and you won't tell me what I'm guilty of. Go ahead, what do you want? I will tell everything. Bro. The investigation is started. So the, the I, investigation is started. Okay. The investigation is started when we found an abandoned car. Okay? On the south border of the Texas and the car contains some blood and drug residues inside it. You are aware of that? How the hell could I be aware of it if you just told me? Hence, up, hence after the hence. investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and your personal information. So, hello? What? Hello? What? You told me not to talk, and then you want me to talk. Make up your mind. So you have to say yes or no or something. Oh, you didn't tell me that part either. Right now, where are you, sir? Wait, what? Right now, where are you? I'm home. The investigation, sir. I will tell you, I will finish up quickly because there are so many calls which I have to attend. Oh, right. okay, yeah. So I will finish it up. Okay. So there, there is an address linked to the title of the vehicle. The address in the city of Rollet. The address in the city of Rollet was raided by Jewish marshal, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine which is an abusive drug and some documentation from your financial institute such as the Chess Bank, Bank of USA, Bank of America. The entire paperwork has your name and social on them. Thousands of dollars have been wired from this bank's oh. account locally and internationally. Which totally seems just suspicious to just, us. Just, that is just a, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes? Let that fucking dog out! No? Alright, go ahead. All right. Are you putting me in speaker, sir? No, I told him to let the dog out. My cousin, Eddie. The entire paperwork has your name, all right? And the social okay. on them, the thousand of dollars have been wired. That. I heard all that. I heard all that. This is the reason why we as the Social Security Administration has filed a case against you for drug trafficking and money laundering. How can you do that when it wasn't me? So we know that it was not you, but the social security well, number you're is you're going to arrest me anyways, right? You know it's not me, but you're no. going to arrest me. Now let us and, know. And that somehow, you make, that somehow makes sense to you. So do you have any any of your friends or any of your members, your relatives or any of your colleagues who is using your social security number well, for any pur purpose? Well, how would I know? If they were using it, they're using it without me knowing about it. Of all right. So now, do you have any questions, sir? There's any questions? No. No. Just arrest me, I guess. I don't know what to do here. I have no clue what you want me to do. As we are having a very short time, sir. You have done. What have you done? Is totally against the law of your Treasury do Department. I didn't do it. And we have to sign the arrest warrant against your name and suspend the, your local right away. <sighs> what happened? What happened, sir? What happened to what? I don't, I don't know what you want me to say. What do you want me to do? You're going to arrest me. According to, according to Section 42, Subsection C of 1958, Drug Enforcement Administration Act, you are going to be taken for a non bailable jail term for nine years and penalty nine that years. could go Nine years? I'm not going to jail for no nine years. I'm 70 years old. And penalty that could go up to $89,000. Okay, good luck with that. In this regard... In this regard, we have also checked your past record and we have found that your banking information contains genuine record and your social has no complaints in the past. That is the only reason we have reached you before you face any legal consequences. Okay. So if you are agree to help the Department of Treasury help you in do the what? case, I don't know only... What... 
somebody used my social security number in Texas to, to do something, really? and they found drugs and blood. What? Yeah. What does that mean? Hello? I, I don't Hello? know. Hello? My wife just came in. I'm telling her what's going on. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Hello, sir. Please don't share this information with every it's anyone my wife. right now. It's my wife. <laughs> if I'm going to go to jail, because she's got to know where I am. Yes. Jeez. I will let you know. Wow. Don't share with them. So I can't share the information with you. I'm your wife. Well, yeah, but the scammer says I can't do it. You scamming bastard. You're lucky she came in and I keep you on the phone for another fucking hour, you asshole. Hey, scumbag, I'm talking to you. Fuck stick. Asshole, I can see you're still on the line. Answer me. You fucker. You thieving asshole. bastard. You Ben Chode, Ben Colody motherfucker. You thief. You're a fucking thief. You hung up. <laughs>